In this screencast, I'll show you how to create some text using Java in Greenfoot. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a blank scenario. So what we'll do is we'll create a new world, so a new subclass here. I'm going to call it text world. Make sure that you're camel casing it, and I'm going to take, I don't know, uh, blue rock as my background. Then I just need an actor on the screen right now, so I'm just going to create anything. We'll call this, I don't know, uh, baby there. So then we'll go to people, and we'll pick the baby. So then I have an actor there. Compile your world, or compile everything and make sure it works. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a baby on the screen and I'm going to save the world so that we have that there. Now, to create text, what we actually need to do is create a new class. So under actor, we're going to go to create new subclass. Now, this actually is going to be called either text or label or whatever you want to call it. For this one, I'm going to call it a label. It doesn't need a picture, so just click OK. Now, uh, labels just a little bit different than um, the other kind of things that we've done in class. So this coding is going to be a little bit different. So go into your label class, and to start off here, um, I'm going to start out by going and deleting the act method. Uh, your label does not need an act method. So just delete that so you avoid any confusion. Then we're going to go up top, outside of the class, where we actually have never coded before, and to get this to work, we actually need to import another library of Java or from Java. So we're going to type import, and then what we're going to do is we're going to import java.awt, period, and then an asterisk, and then a semicolon. And what this is going to do is this imports um, color so that we can work with color in our um, label class. So we have that there. Now, we haven't done a lot of work with this. But what we're going to create is called a constructor. And a constructor is a piece of code that runs every time we construct or make a label. So when we add a label to the screen, it's only going to run this code once. So to do this, we're going to start out by typing public and then label, capital L for label. It has to match the class name. And then in parentheses here, we're going to add um, string text. And that just means that we need to use a string field when we create this. Then we'll put a curly brace underneath, and I'm just going to add the second curly brace right away. Okay, constructors also are in yellow like methods. And what we're going to type here is green foot image. So we're going to create a green foot image called image. This is what it is, that's what it's named. That's going to equal a new green foot image. And then in parentheses, it's going to be text.length parenthesis parenthesis this is a method that measures how many letters are in the string text or what string we're going to put on the screen and we're going to multiply that so we're going to use the asterisk times 20 so what that's going to do is set our length of this green foot image to the number of letters in our text times 20 so if you have four letters in your text it's going to make it 80 pixels long and then for the height we're going to go 30 now these numbers right here, this height, that doesn't make your text any bigger. It just makes the image bigger, if that makes any sense. So don't really stress out too much about this number as long as your text shows up on the screen. Then on the next line, we're going to say color. Okay, and then we're going to say color dot, and then there's a whole bunch of colors that Java can use. Um, just kind of pick, stick with the basics for right now, and they have to be in all caps. So I'm going to do it in red like that and then semicolon the end of that line now the next thing we need to do is go to image dot draw string string is a um, a string of text or words so we want our image to draw the letters and then what we're gonna draw is the text that we're using up here so we're just gonna write text here and then we're gonna put 2 and 20 and that's just where inside the image we're gonna draw that and then the last thing we need to do is we actually need to set the image. So we're going to type set image image, just like that. So that kind of uh, takes care of our constructor. Then we need to create one more method um, that we're going to use later on. So we're going to go public void and then set text. And again, we're going to use that string text. We have to put this up here this argument or this field up here so that um, this method can work with it. Then again, it's a method, so curly braces here. And what we want to do here is we want to go green foot image 
image again is going to equal get the image. So basically what this is going to do is create an image that gets a copy of the image on the screen. A little confusing, but not a big deal. Then we need to take the image and we're going to clear it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the string again. So we can actually copy this from right here. Maybe I'm going to do that to save a little bit of typing. This set text is really like a little method that updates the text on the screen. So we're going to get the image, clear it, and then draw a new image and put it on the screen with our text that we're going to type in. Okay? If you've gotten this far and you compile it, you should have no syntax errors. If you have a couple, that just means you made a typo somewhere. Okay? That's our label class. Now, what we're going to do is uh, kind of jump out back to the baby here because we need something to do something for our label. So what we're going to do is go into the baby class and we're going to go real simple here. Well, let's put a field in here called counter. So we'll go public int counter and that's going to equal zero. So our counter is going to start at zero. Then all we want our baby to do is to count up so that you can see how this label works. So we'll put in a simple if statement. If greenfoot is key down and we'll use the space bar. So if we're pressing the space bar, what we want to do is we want to make the counter count up. So we'll say counter equals counter plus one. So the whole time we're holding down the space bar, the counter is going to continuously count up. All right, so we will compile that and leave that on the screen. Now, here's what we got going. If I run my program right now and I uh, drop a label on the screen, just like this, it has a little green foot image, it needs to know what text you want to put on there. It can't run yet. So we'll cancel that. And if we run it without the label on the screen and we press the space bar, the baby is counting up. You can check by right clicking and going to inspect. And you can see in the um, counter right here, he's counted up to 69. But we need a way to display that on the screen. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump out to the world for a second. And we're going to come out here and up top, right here where we normally put fields, what we're going to do is we're going to create a label. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, label, this name has to match your class name. And then you can give it any name you want. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, counter label. And that's going to equal a new label. And then in parentheses, we have to put the text we want. That's why there's string text in label right here. That's why there's string text. We need to give it some text right away. So what we'll do is we'll say that we want it to say counter. You have to put this in quotes, counter, okay, just like this. And then a semicolon here. Compile it, make sure we made no errors. We didn't. Now, what we can do is we can put it on the screen. So I'm going to just drop it into my um, prepare method. And what I need is counter label and then where it's going to go. So we're going to add the object and then add counter label. We don't have to put a new one because we've already created it. And then we just need some coordinates to put it at. So 200, 200 sounds like a good place to put it. Now if I compile this and I jump out to my world, now you can see the counters right here. If I run that and I press spacebar, nothing happens yet. I'm going to pause it quick and inspect the baby. And you can see the baby's counter is still working, but we need a way to get the counter number over to this label here. So the best way for us to do that right now is to go into the baby and just make a quick change. Instead of public integer counter, we're going to add a word static in between. Static means that this integer can talk to other classes. So what we're going to do is we'll compile that, make sure it's right. And then what we want to do is we want to go to our text world here. And this counter right here, we're going to set it to say 0. Counter 0. So it's going to start on 0. Okay, we still, we still could run it and still nothing's going to happen because we haven't told the counter to update. Again, the best place to do that is in the text world 
So we're going to go down and create an act method in our world, because our world doesn't have one. So we'll say public void act. And what we want the world to do is update the counter for us. So what we'll say then is the name of our counter, which is counter label. We're going to say counter label, okay, dot set text. We're going to use that method that we created in the label class. And inside of there, what we're going to do is we're going to set the text by saying we want it to say counter. And then we're going to put a space here. And then what Greenfoot lets us do or what Java lets us do is we can use the plus sign. And we can make it show the field from another place by adding the plus sign. That basically means put the number right next to the words counter right here. So our counter is in the baby, so we're going to write baby dot counter and then close that up and add a semicolon at the end. If I compile that, if I compile that, this will run all the time. So our label is going to constantly update right here. So I'm going to close this, compile everything. Okay, you see the zero showed up. If I press run, nothing happens until I press the space bar and then the counter counts up. When I let go of the space bar, it doesn't go up anymore. So I'm going to go some more and you can do this forever. All right. So now what you've done is you've created a label class. This we use a lot. So just make sure that this works. It's kind of the same for every game that we make in our class. Okay. And then what we've done is we've made a static integer so we can have this integer or this number talk to other classes and then in our world what we've done is we've created the label here in the prepare method we added it to the world and then we added an act method that sets the text that says counter plus we use the field from the baby class and that's how we can create and use text or labels in Greenfoot.